Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Hello there. Welcome back. Welcome back, guys. As always, want to thank everybody that's watching us over on Patreon. We couldn't do it without your support in these days. Thank you very much. Absolutely. You guys have helped us to plant fruit that maybe we'll be sharing with the neighborhood at some <laughs> point in time when things get tough. And that is so true. Absolutely. Absolutely. We will... When we get rid of this dark gray uh, weather, we will do an update and show you guys how things are going on the homesteading front. Meanwhile, if you are in this zone, and that bullseye is primarily over Oklahoma, but be aware, Kansas and also really anybody in the central U.S., uh, level five out of five high risk of tornadoes been drawn uh, for today. So, you know, be aware we've had uh, insane storms, insane storms. Everything feels so um, electric right now, doesn't it? And and yet everything feels so, it feels weird to me. You know, you talk about pregnant pauses and, you know, the sense of, things happening behind the scenes well the sun's been really active really really active and i've even seen the words hyperactive used to describe one of these uh, sun zone areas ar3663 so 3663 isn't that interesting right gives us an x4.5 x4.5 and you know there's high probability that it's not done yet this is the third strongest solar flare of the current cycle, which is ongoing. So, you know, radio blackout situation. This is this one right here. Um, when you look at it, look at this. I mean, the water is choppy, guys. The water is choppy. And as I say that, I am reminded that, you know, the sun, it's the old uh, helium and hydrogen thing. And just how obvious it should be for us that the sun is the giver of water, right? And look at the way we look at this data. It's like waves. And right now, choppy seas. Choppy seas out there. Uh, wow. You know, X1.3, X1.2, X4.5. What is coming up? as these regions are getting more and more active and then you know again these were just a little bit away from becoming an x class at, at, and this is all well yesterday cindy and i we both we both felt zapped so <clears throat> sometimes you get wired sometimes you get zapped and we both felt zapped so we were in bed reading at like 7 p.m and yeah, you know, we did do some good studying of uh, medical qigong and some of the old ancient texts, philosophical in nature. You know, it feels so good to just unplug computers and stuff. And I, I know I could read PDFs online all day long, but there's something about a book in the hand and no signals in the house that feels wonderful. I know. I the, you know the computer seemed to bother me a little bit extra yesterday. I just I got so exhausted. I we were doing some work and then I had to go go back to bed. <laughs> it's like I just cannot I cannot do this. And then when I was asking, I'm like, "Why why did that bother me so bad?" It's the in, incoming sun, the incoming solar flares when your body is trying to move up in vibration and you're sitting in front of a computer, a tablet, a phone, there's going to be a bit of a drag. There's going to be a bit of a drag net. And the more sensitive you are, sometimes you might feel that more. So the computers make you, you know, it, it's, it's very much a... Um, it's like a false type of energy to your body. So it's it's hard to get through. And your body's like, gosh, I'm exhausted. I don't want to do this anymore. So that's what happened to me yesterday. Yeah, and I should rephrase what I said because the reality was um, had plenty of energy and it was from just research on, on the computer that zonked me. It really was. Um, so recommendation uh is to detach as much as you can you know get your info get your things done that you have to do and i know you know some of us have to be on the computer all the time i know i've been there i've been there in those you know jobs where you're just chained to it for 10 or 12 hours 
Uh, absolutely, I understand. But the more that we're away from it, uh, the better we can root and ground and also upgrade our systems. Um, for people who do have to work in front of the computer, and there are a lot, there's so many, unfortunately. I've heard of other people getting those grounding mats that you can plug into your house and you just put it right under your desk and it's made a big, big difference. I don't have any recommendations as far as where to buy them. I think there is a website called earthing.com. You might want to try there or just do a general search to see, uh, check the reviews, but I, I've gotten good reports from people getting those and having luck as far as feeling so much better uh, when they have to work in front of the computer day in, day out. So grounding is, is very important. <clears throat> Absolutely. As civilians are ordered out of Rafa, as the IDF ground attacks about to proceed, where are they going to go? You know, again, borders are blocked off. Um, this is southern Gaza. They've pushed them all from northern Gaza south, and now they're going to push them where you know out into the the water well when they go out to the water to go pick up supplies they get shot on you know it, it's an impossible situation um that we find in this world because it's, it's just simply there's no answers as long as there's no change in the system and here you have six people died <clears throat> and 33 were injured if you can't see the writing on the wall and all the numerology, um, yeah, this is just basic. Six, pe six people died, 33 injured, drone attack on a bus. This is in Belgorod, again, in Russia. Um, remember we were talking about that sunspot again? Uh, region AR3663. You know, this is, and, and it's not like I'm looking for these news articles. It's just when they smack me in the face, it's like I got to share it because I feel that there's other level communications going on. And meanwhile, <clears throat> we have Pooty Poot ordering tactical nuclear weapons drills. You know, they are moving forward as we had expected with everything. So again, everybody, I hope... Um, you're, you've done as much preparing as you can, uh, I think, in, in, in reality. I mean, there's a couple of other periods where we probably had more um, stored up than we do at this point in time. But we ended up m moving uh, so much that it was like, wow, it's a, it was a lot to move, was everything that we had stored up. And then with these two behemoth uh, puppies, uh, they they eat through a lot. They really do eat through a lot. Cindy and I, I think we could get through with without too, too much, but not Rama and Sita. So exercise to check the military's ability to use smaller range systems was announced by the Defense Ministry on Monday. And, you know, what you have going on is what we had talked about, the fact that they're trying to blur the lines. And from the information that we've got is uh, the controllers are trying to test the waters because, you know, they're all about creating um, death and destruction and chaos and uh, all these loose uh, providing situations because they actually utilize very, very dark entities uh, to do a lot of their dirty work. And, and that is the food that these entities literally live off of. So, you know, they, they're all about blurring the lines and seeing what they could get away with. And really, when you look at it from this standpoint, everything really does uh, make so much sense. And meanwhile, you know, you have this inextricable march towards ww3 and we still have so many people out there that are will still say in comments well nothing will ever happen again because nothing's happened to them directly but it's been really just one horrible uh situation after another and there are so many that have suffered uh, again, you know, it, it's part of the great awakening and the great separation as you have Macron now retracting comments about sending troops to Ukraine. Well, you know, they did send advisors, but then there's been advisors there the whole time. There's also been 
people from many different NATO countries fighting there alongside Ukrainians. And there's also thousands and thousands of Ukrainians that have left their country and headed for the hills because they, they don't want to take part in this, you know, quote unquote, draft dodgers, which, you know, again, anybody that understands the situation, I don't know how you could take part. Because how could you take part when you understand that everything has been just totally contrived to bring about pain and suffering? Mm -hmm. I know it's 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 something that it, it, there's a level of acceptance that people have to find. And I think there's a very fine line because you don't want to find things so accepting that you're you're, you know, cognitive dissonant of it. You want to be able to energetically help people where they need it. I think people over here, we do feel very, very safe. We feel like nothing is ever going to happen to us here. But you only have to look to the past to see the future. And there have been major uprootings here in in these states. Um, very, very unfair. And I think people get comfortable in feeling like this is my home, my property. I purchased it, you know, but at one time there were other indigenous people that felt like these are our hunting grounds. This is what we use. This is what the great mother has provided for us. And we're not going anywhere. And, and I think we have to be careful of those thoughts, even though we do need to be grounded to be ungrounded is, is gosh, you can get so, so sick, but, um, that's just how the controllers do things. You know, they, they take over, they act as if they have ownership but that is coming to an end. It's it's coming to a slow end, but I, I think it's not a good idea to ignore it and pretend that it couldn't happen here. <clears throat> you know, it, it's all about how we view things and how we view things is in many cases dependent on, on what we were brought up with and what we were told. Uh, where, where does the wisdom come from and what does that wisdom say that is... Um, putting different thoughts and ways of thinking, processing, and looking at the world into young kids' minds. When you're brought up, say, as part of a nomadic tribe or semi-nomadic tribe, uh, you know, the ideology you would have is that we simply are giving thanks to the land. We're taking what is offered by the land to us. We don't own the land. And again, our time is um, is just limited here, and then we're moving on. And if we looked at things in, in that light, we would not necessarily have this sense of ownership, which could end up diffusing a lot of, you know, the problems w that we see. You know, it's, it's again that recreation of this strip of land as we see, you know, more explosions and you know, several dozen more people are no longer on this 3D planet anymore. If we recognized that ultimately our time here is very short, <clears throat> this, <clears throat> excuse me, guys, this is a trip. This is a, a voyage. This is a, a ride of sorts. Uh, again, the evidence that this is in reality a simulation is overwhelming. And in fact, that's what we do get from all the um, Eastern philosophical points of view. And, and, and they do uh, diverge on to what level uh, it is in illusion of sorts, the, the, the original matrix that we're in. And of course, that matrix has been hijacked by a darker uh, force that's creating its own little sub-matrix within the matrix that we find ourselves in. And yet our consciousness the entire time is, is creating our own personal reality. And we could be like Mr. Magoo walking here and, and we might be heading, walking straight to where those explosions are and then just get distracted by a butterfly, find ourselves wandering two blocks over to the, to the east and, oh, what was that? Boom. Yeah. Oh, you know, just missing it entirely. And, you know, this is part of the world that we live in. It's a temporary ride. It's a temporary experience, this human experience. 
And this, um, originally, it was a magnitude 4.4, and I kid you not, the depth was 4.4 kilometers when I initially looked at it. And I was thinking, oh my gosh, this is another signal to somebody, but they changed it to 7 kilometers. Now, this is Thatcher, Utah. Um, a little bit large for what we typically see over this way, but it absolutely has happened in the past and can happen again as we see Logan and Ogden over here in the Great Salt Lake. You know, I, Cindy was saying we were talking about, hey, we should at some point in time when, when we're able to and we're retired, let's do a Tartaria um, trip. And, you know, neither one of us have ever been to Europe or Asia. We've never been to Africa or Australia or New Zealand. Uh, so, you know, where would you want to go for a Tartaria trip? And I said, well, on that one, I might, I might just stay home. Uh, because there's more here in, in the United States um, than meets the eye. And here we are again, a, a point in time, I think, where we're going to be sweeping over so much that was and adding another layer to the mud. Mm-hmm. I know it's it, I, I think there's so many what I feel is that there's many 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 um, ancient spots here in the um, in America and it's really being covered up I mean I, I think we have just as fascinating things here in America than we do over in Egypt or over in uh, anywhere else in this world it's just covered up it's hidden uh, kept from us you know the the mounds the, the sacred mounds the sacred the sacred land that is here is just uh, I don't know there's something that tells me that we're gonna find a truth that we never really thought possible Yes, absolutely. 6.2 Indonesia, by the way, 12.1 kilometers uh, deep. And the uh, earth changes and their uh, incitement by the technology keeps going on, as, as does more of the reveal, um, as so many of those things that were pushed on humanity are being taken off the market. And so many cures real cures to help you balance your body system because again we're made of these uh, elements and so much of dis-ease is, is literally just simply imbalances uh, well our society is very very uh, unbalanced that that is obvious bromelain you know we've we've talked about this before it has so many positive effects that it can do and even getting rid of little spiky nasty things is is what they're talking about here pineapple i mean nature 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 i mean why 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 would you go and and risk cancer for you know clear skin uh well why would you go and drill a hole in your head as they recommended with lobotomies many people did that why would you drink radiated water many people did that uh, fluoride still doing that I mean it goes on and on and on when we look at the system the system's being exposed it's being exposed so big right now that if they don't trigger WW3 um, wow you know I, they might just get swept away with uh, everything that's being exposed and this is thus why they have that card that they probably will play right and you know it's always very fun and exciting to find a new something for something else but be very careful where you source your bromelain or anything else you put in your body because so many times it can come with fillers that your body is not going to agree with it can come from with with heavy metals you want to make sure it's from a good local source if possible anything you're putting in your body that is sold in mass if it's really not meant to do the job, it's not going to help you. Plus, your body is having to process more than it should. So that's the importance of getting things in your body that are really going to benefit you, and getting things that are going to work. There's a gazillion alternatives out there, but you really want to be careful in picking the one that's right for your body so it's beneficial and not pulling you down. 
You know, some things just have never made sense to me. You know, why would you want artificially flavored maple syrup that is just toxic with all sorts of additives and chemicals? And to me, it's disgusting when you could actually have pure organic maple syrup. Why, why have strawberry flavored this and that when just grab some organic strawberries? You know, uh, Mother Nature has given us these amazing things to explore. And part of why we're here is to do those things because we don't eat on the higher dimensions. Uh, eating is, is something that's a lower, uh, a lower density function. We, we literally absorb the life force that's around us. We can absorb it now and and definitely boost our immune system and our strength and our health and our well-being as I am intending on doing some um, deeper dives back into Qigong, which was one of the original purposes of the channel uh, when I first started it, before the Illuminati reached out to me and sent me down this um, CONS piracy uh, part of thinking. I wasn't even intending on doing these type of things. It was simply, I was just going to keep teaching people that I was teaching when I moved away from an area via distance work and that was it um but when they reached out to me to recruit me it sent something off in me and and unknowingly they actually <laughs> kind of turned it on they turned on the whole function of of exposing the system and you know that ultimately is is really a big part of why Cindy and I even came into the flesh uh, in, at this point in time and why we incarnated. It was to expose the system, but this is um, just one of those interesting little things of how, you know, the darkness and the light. Um, I saw a quote before, I think it was uh, from a movie, and it was talking about how whenever a great darkness appears, you will have more light that will appear to counteract it. It's kind of in the nature of things. It's part of the Tao. It's part of the yin and the yang. So everything that we have been given here on this planet in a natural way has been unfortunately replicated in a very, very dark artificial way to pull us away from that which is going to be beneficial for us because it's it's all about beneficial for the system. So how could you have raw milk be illegal in states? And it is in many states. And this, which is pure toxic crap, is perfectly fine everywhere. It's just so irritating to me that we can sell poisons like this and... In, even in other countries, a lot of this stuff has been banned. It's been banned, and people can't see it. And I, I think the reason being, unfortunately, is there's so much uh, fluoride-like chemical going into people's body is they just sort of have that, eh, you know, it, it's, it's no big deal. And, and that's exactly, it's that docile behavior is what they're going after. It's what the controllers need to keep selling this stuff. And then they sell it, you know, at child eye level and they get children addicted to all of this sugar and children come up with things uh, you know like rashes all over their body and they get so sick in their stomachs the the gut bacteria is all screwed up by the age of three and the parasites are feeding off of all the sugar and other preservatives that are in these things that they sell for children i mean i was looking on their fruity pebble flavored syrup and then you're going to put that on more sugar? I mean, I, I, to me, it's just not fathomable. And, and I think we really need to do our best to change how we shop for our children and how we shop for ourselves and how we treat our bodies. Um, this is our temple. And, and depending on how we treat our temple is going to depend on our experience here. Absolutely. Because <clears throat> unhealthy mind... Uh, in an unhealthy body, they they kind of go together. We we can fix um, our health, and we will also tend to help the clarity with which we are are seeing the world. As you look at these things, what's changed in the last thirty years, right? 
since 1990 look at this this is insane adhd 819 percent increase alzheimer's 299 autism 2094 percent increase bipolar disease in the young 10,000 chronic fatigue 11,000 fibromyalgia 7,000 again it's it's what you're putting into your body for the most part and then also that which we are subjected to frequency wise on the outside this is why uh, you got to make decisions you're really going to have to make decisions I know there's um, some people out there that you know maybe they have uh, a very very high paying jobs they're right in the middle of say uh, a New York, a LA, a DC, a London, a Paris, wh whatever it is. And they've gotten themselves maybe into a lot of debt too. And they just look at it like, well, you know, I, I can't leave my area. I can't, you know, I'm tied in. This is what the system does. It ties you in. It, that's its whole purpose. Tie you in to where you'll be roped down and subject to things that are going to uh, make it so you can't think clearly, you can't escape the system, you can't heal yourself, mind, body, and spirit. And, you know, the way this system works, it's very important for them to isolate and label uh, things that go on in our body uh, disturbances because after science has picked it apart and they've given it a label, now that has opened the door to create uh, certain uh, um, medicines that they can sell you that claim to help heal this thing that you might have. So there's there's a, definitely a method to their madness. They have to find these labels. In order to find these labels, they have to get people sick. So it's all very, very deliberate. You know, just uh, a little nostalgic trip down memory lane. You guys remember these things? I remember these things as a kid, and boy, I thought I was so naughty when I had a strip of these. Grab the old hammer and pow, pow, pow. I mean, the simple little things that we had so much fun with. And now I've I've never had a kite like this. This is an amazing kite. Can you imagine? You could freak some people out with this kite. Why can't we just focus on having fun? Why can't we focus on being creative? Why is this world all about death and destruction? Again, when you when you look at the amount of money that's spent on the discretionary budget, more than half of it is going to death and destruction. And the rest, the, even, the, even the stuff that's supposed to go for health and healing, it ultimately leads to more death and destruction. Look at this. This is a Jaipur wall. It stretches around the city of Amur in India. You know, we have so many amazing places on this planet. And, you know, the deeper you look into it with some of the construction that has happened on this planet, it's just wild what's here. And there's so much evidence of advance advanced civilizations now yeah sure this this wall even though it's it's quite an achievement um it, it doesn't touch some of the other things that we've seen out there that are pretty inexplicable take time to enjoy nature and and look again through the eyes of a child it, it doesn't last long in this world you know as we know the indoctrination comes quickly and, and it's, it's that point of view that we're brought up with. Play, play, play. Oh my gosh, these guys are just thrilled. They have so much to choose from. <clears throat> and it's so adorable. The joy in their hearts right now is just, it's overwhelming. I mean, we need to find that in our hearts. We need to find that within ourselves. We need to do this too. I mean, this is so good for your body. It's so good to find that one fun thing that drives you, that thing that you can kind of get immersed in, that thing that makes you excited to live. I mean, these are beautiful creatures and the emotions that they put off are, uh, well, you know, we share, we share. So when our pups, our animals, our pets are feeling good, we get some of that joy too, but we can find it for ourselves. Absolutely. Find your joy, whatever that is, and, and go ahead and engage in it. 
Take a chance. This guy dances. Zeke used to dance a lot like that when he got goofy. You remember when Zeke got goofy? Mm-hmm. He's a sweetie, yep. Yeah, he was he was such a good boy. As always, guys, much love, source blessed. Thank you for being part of this family. Namaste. Namaste.